Okay. <coughs> We've been going through the first set of readings in Lesson 8, and we're on page 110. And we were in paragraph th- or passage 3, section 3, and I th- finished explaining the first two verses. Now we come to the third verse. Okay, first I'll read it. An avatita chitasa saddamang abhijanato pariplava pasadasa panya na paripurati. Okay, in this verse, what is the subject? The subject. In the sense, What is in the nominative case? Which word? What is the subject of the verb? Say. Did I hear? What did Wendy say? True Dhamma. What makes you think true Dhamma is the subject? Dhamma is... What case is it here? Say. Accusative. So if it's accusative, can it be the subject? You have to look for a word in the nominative case. What word is in the nominative case? No. I heard it from two people, the right word, from the left wing and from the right wing. <laughs> Okay, the word, the subject, the nominative is panya. Because you see, panya is a feminine noun, and so its nominative ending is, it doesn't have any additional ending, it's just a long A, a. Okay, so panya is the subject. And what is the... Okay, so wisdom does not fill up paripurity. It does not attain fullness. Okay, and now, for whom does wisdom not reach fullness? This will be indicated by words set in the genitive case. So now, look for words that are in the genitive case. What are these words? They're actually... Two of them are compound. Right. Another word. And still a third word in genitive case. Avijanato. Okay, so... To translate it, we would say, beginning with, I would translate taking the fourth foot first. Wisdom does not fill up for one with unavatita chitasa. That means the one with an unsteady mind. The word anavatita, first it comes from the root ta, which means to stand plus, it has a prefix ava. Ava usually has a sense of down. But here, just ava plus ta has the sense of being steady or persisting, continuing. So ta gives normally the repetity that the past participle of this is tita, 
Tita also, on its own, has the meaning of steady. In other words, standing, firm. But the prefix other, it just reinforces that idea. So it's other Tita, originally a past participle form, but it takes on almost an a function like an adjective. Steady. Then, other tita becomes the first part of a compound together with chita. Chita means what? Mahana. Okay, so other tita would mean what? Baby, Yeah. But now, okay, the, we have it negated, negation, un avatita. This means unsteady mind, a wavering mind. And how is this compound, <coughs> compound being used? What type of compound is it? <laughs> right, it's a two car garage compound. <laughs> Yes, good, good. In Pali, it's called Bahu Bihi compound. That means that. Maybe explain what it means. Just not Bahu Bihi in, in general, but how does this function? Yeah. Maybe that question isn't specific enough. Okay, does anabhatita chitta actually mean literally an unsteady mind? But maybe I have to explain it. I can't formulate the question well enough. Here, anabhatita chitta, because it's a bahubihi compound, two-car garage compound, it doesn't mean simply an unsteady mind, but it's a description of a person with an unsteady mind. So in other words, it means one with an unsteady mind. It's like we'll put it this way, a two cars garage. Here, two cars doesn't actually mean <laughs> two automobiles, but it means it's a way, it's a description of the garage. It means a garage that can accommodate two cars. And so in the same way, anavatita chitta, in this verse, anavatita chittasa, describes one with an unsteady mind, a person with unsteady mind. It functions as a, a kind of adjective. And this same person is described in other ways. Second way, he's described as Saddamang Abhijanato. Abhijanato is what case? And what form of speech is this? Grammatically, what form of speech? Is it Close, but not exactly. Present participle. Present participle. What is a genitive? How is a genitive? Yeah. Let's take a look at the paradigm. Don't we have the full present participle? Yeah, we do. So three point six. But here in three point six, I only see. And I'm going to have a cue to do. Fifty nine. No, I'm just getting sixty nine. 
Thirty-six just gives the nominative and accusative. Ah, here we are, here we are. Page 70. Three point one. Oh, that group again. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Got you it. see, it's yeah, okay. For the the John on toe on tongue. Then going to genitive data, it uses the shorts that was called the short stem. A toe. Okay. The weak stem, the weak stem. Okay. So it's for one not understanding the true Dharma. Then Pari Plava Pasadasa. Here, Pari Plava, it's an unusual word. I mean, something like floating. It's, again, it takes on the meaning of wavering, floating, not steady. And Pasada. It takes on the glossary, gives the meaning of tranquility, serenity, clarity, purity, but also it has a more special meaning and technical meaning as confidence or trust. So one has, for example, a disciple has, say, Bhutte Pasado, means he has trust or confidence in the Buddha. Dhamme Pasado, confidence in the Dhamma. Sangha Pasado, confidence in the Sangha. And the same word also means tranquility, because it's believed that when you have gained confidence in the spiritual teacher, then the mind, which is trembling, unsteady, now it becomes calm and tranquil. Okay, so the sense now is that the whole verse, wisdom does not become full for one with an st- unsteady mind, for one not understanding the true Dhamma, for one with, you could say, wavering confidence. Okay, any questions about that first? To reach fullness, paripurity. You understand? Yeah, yeah the, the actual stem of the verb, originally it's purity, which again has the sense of fullness. But then pari, the prefix, reinforces that. I think it might be jiu jing. Jiu jing. Jiu jing. Jiu jing is ultimate. I thought it would be mind. Mind. 
maybe man. Maybe man. Final. This isn't so much final, but more complete. Yeah. Or maybe the sense of this UN. UN is called joined with man. UN man. That would seem to be the sense of pari. UN man. You and mine. No. Probably. No. More, the more the pari the more complete. Oh, I see. Wait, it's the pari which is seems to be you and mine. Oh, pari and you I think so. I will have a more. Purity. Purity. Yeah. Also, is that they go together. Purity is to reach fullness, and then pari is to reach full fullness. Right. right. So pari would be you and. Probably, yeah. Yeah, and then purity would be mine. Probably so. Yeah, yeah. Even fuller. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You and mine. <laughs> Suki is the only one who's yeah, well, I think I kind of assume it's a one month. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah, 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 exactly. You yeah. have one month. One month. Yeah, I can kind of. Uh, yeah. 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 Korean pronunciation is very similar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so everybody is on board. <laughs> okay. Next verse. Any questions about that verse? Next verse. Yava jivam piche balo panditang pai rupasati naso damang vijanati dabi suparasangyata. Okay, yava jivam. This is, it's called indeclinable. That means it's not, it's like an adverb. And it means, Yava means as long as, and Jiva is life. So it means, as long as one lives throughout one's life. P has a sense of even. Che is if. Balo is fool. Then the verb here, pai-rupasati. It has the sense of serving, attending on, associating with, The actual, I think, sort of the stem form of it, I think, is asati, which has the sense of sit. And upa, near, gives a sense of near. And then the that front part, pai. It's actually originally it's pari. Pari plus upa plus asati. Pari, again, it just gives the flavor of fullness, open, air, sitting. But then what happens in Pali, because it's a spoken language, just some letters get interchanged to make it easier to pronounce. So somehow the Y gets inserted there. It becomes Pai-ra. Then the a drops off, so it becomes pi root possibly. So it's literally sitting near. 
but then it takes on the meaning, derived meaning of attending on, serving. And then Pandita is a wise person. So even if his whole life, throughout life, the fool associates with a wise person or serves a wise person, he does not understand the Dhamma the so damang vijana ti then a simile here dabi suparasang yata yata means as or like dabi means a spoon and super means soup <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it really means not so much what we call soup, but it's... Broth. Excuse me? Broth. No, not broth. Curry? It's something like a curry. Curry? curry? You see, it's... Like the spicy curry? It doesn't mean the flavor per se, but there's a dish that Indians always use in Indian cooking of dal, lentils, mm-hmm. usually with a special spice, what they call curry powder and it's made with water, sometimes coconut or milk is added. That seems to be... That texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we could call it soup, but it's actually not what we usually think of as soup. So just as the spoon, then there's an implied verb, just as the spoon doesn't know the taste of the of soup or the curry, Then the next verse, is there any question about this verse? Then the next verse just gives, in a sense, the opposite of that. It's the paired verse. The two verses are paired. So who can translate the next verse for us? Somebody like to try? It's not very difficult. If you did, the, since we went through the first, this verse, the first verse, now you should be able to do the next one. Try okay, try it good, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And uh, most Wait. Dharma, Wait. First, Mahutampi. Mahutam. Actually, I see a little. I think there's a mistake there. Yeah. Yeah. Is a wise one, wise person, associates with also uh, instant. For a moment, for a moment. Yeah, for a moment. Associate with the wise one. Yeah. Uh, uh, quickly understand the Dharma. Yeah. Just like, just like. Uh, yeah. Taste the soup. Right, yeah, yeah. Or taste the flavor of the soup. Taste the flavor. Yeah. Okay, so here, Vinyu, also we try, let's make Vinyu intelligent person. But not only, it doesn't mean intelligent just in the sense of being skilled at mathematics, science, but really it's a person with some seed of wisdom. So if the intelligent person associates with the wise person even for a moment. He quickly 
understands the Dhamma just as the tongue knows the taste of the soup. Any question? Any question about this? Okay, next. So just like the pun, what is the verb? Actually, you see, the verb here is not stated. It's just left implicit, implied, okay. because it's a verse, so they have to fit it in. But you could say, even Vijana, <laughs> Vijanati understands. It seems to be carrying over from the third line to the fourth. Just as the intelligent person understands the Dhamma. So that, or knows, yeah, understands the Dhamma, so the tongue understands or experiences the flavor of the soup. Okay, next verse. The tongue kamang katang sadhu yang katva anutapati. Yasa asu mukoro dung, the pakang pati savati. Okay, the, fir- the first line here. That action here, karma, karma means action. That action not that action done is not good which here come to the second line which having done or having been done is anutapati regretted or repented It actually seems to me to have been originally a past tense form. I'd have to check the dictionary to see if it could take on an active form. Maybe we check. You have, I see you have the Poly English Dictionary. You know, the dictionary says that it's passive, but then it gives it a meaning in an active sense to be sorry for, to regret, repent, feel remorse. Okay, so let's treat it as though we're active. So it seems to be originally passive. It's the person. Yeah, one would repent, yeah. Oh. Okay. So that action is is not that action which is done is not good which having been done I would put it passive, which having been done is repented. Or you could also put it which having done one repents. It seems one could take it in either way. Yasa, of which Yasa means of which and you have to look for a word in these two lines which can join with Yasa. It's a a word which is connected with Kama. What is that word? So yasa means of which, whose. Okay, the word is vipaka, which means whose result, the result of which. What? 
Yeah. Yasa is a possessive. Right. So it means of which. So something has to go with of which. So it's yasa goes with kama. It's the action which one has done that is not good. So of that action there is the result of ipaka. So whose result, whose effect, one pati sevati, one experiences. And how does one experience it? Asumuko rodang. Asumuko means, what does it mean? Careful face. Again, this is what kind of compound? Bahu Bihi compound. We've only learned one compound. <laughs> no, actually, we've come across different kinds, different kinds of compounds. But <laughs> the Bahu Bihi is the tricky one, so I point it out. So, literally, Asumuka means a tearful face, but here it's describing a person. So it's a person with a tearful face. And then rodung is what kind of, what part of speech? This is a little tricky. It's a present participle. Look, page 70 now. 3.1. You see, under nominative, it gives two forms. There is the, the usual nominative, the common one, ends unto. That's the one you'll usually find in prose. But in verse, to make line fit the meter, a shorter participle is used. Like here, they give gachank. Here we have rodan. The verb is actually rodity. You find it in the glossary, rodity, which means to weep, to cry. So here it's present participle, crying. So one experiences the result, crying with a tearful face. So putting everything together, that comma, that action which has been done is not good, which having done, one repents, and the result of which one experiences with a cheerful face crying or crying with a tearful face. And the next verse gives again the opposite of this. Somebody want to try it? Shouldn't be hard. Somebody want to try? Okay. Um, the action which is done yeah. is good. Yeah. The result of which one experiences yeah. with a 
Ja. 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 And but you left. I think you left out. Yang Kat Va Nam. Na. Ja. Okay. Sorry. Once again. The action which is done or which was done yeah. uh, was good yeah. uh, which having been done yeah. one does not repent right, yeah. <coughs> uh, the result of which yeah. one experiences with a divided happy mind right yeah It's actually sumino. Sumino. It comes from su, which has a sense of good plus mano mind. But generally, it just means has a sense of say joyful. So patita, maybe we say delighted. Sumino, joyful. So the result of which one experiences delighted and joyful. The whole verse? Yeah, whole verse. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we start with and because it's actually continuing from the previous verse. Or okay, and that action done, that action which has been done is good which having been done one does not repent. The result of which one experiences delightful and joyful. They're nominative, yeah. We don't translate them as subject. We translate them as adjective. Delightful, joyful. The result of which one experiences is joyful. <laughs> yeah. And the the the, uh, the results. Was yeah, they're nominative, but they're, they're nominative adjectives, and there's the subject is implied, just a one. The person. Yeah. So. The result of which one experiences delight, delightful, and joyful. But the result of which, yeah. Well, okay, so they're not describing the uh, result. They're no, they're describing not describing the result the because they're nominative, so it's a, they qualify a subject. Okay, then, Dhamma, uh, the next verse. Atana meva patamang pati rupe nivesaye atta atta it's a little difficult. <laughs> atta an, I would have to say at anyam anusasaya anusasaya Nakili saya pandito. Okay, the first two lines. The patamang. I put that first. It's like an adverb meaning first of all. First of. Is it indeclinable? It's indeclinable. First.
And the vesaye, the verb, what part of speech, what kind of verb is this? What mood? I heard it someplace. It's the optative. What one should do. And what is, there's no visible subject here. But there's an object. What is the word, the object? The direct object. Yeah, in Pali word. It's atanam. That's in, I think we had this type of noun before mm-hmm. already. Atanam, this is the accusative. It's page 83. See the accusative is atanam. That's because the stem form is A-T-T-A-N. It's rather unusual and irregular now. It forms the nominative it's masculine, but it has a long A. Atta. Then the accusative. Atana. And here it's used reflexively. That is, it means oneself. It doesn't mean the true self, the permanent self. One should first establish oneself in what is proper, pati rupe. Pati rupe is what case? What case? No. The end should be a giveaway. It's locative. In what is good. Okay, one should first establish and then this Ava after a ton of not just give some emphasis. I think it's something like this, the word Jo. <laughs> Is that the equivalent of Ava? It's a little emphasis. Yeah, but sometimes it has some Yeah, 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 sometimes. Okay. okay, so one should first establish oneself in what is proper. Then the next two lines, Atta. Atta means then. And then what is... This nyamanu saaseya. What does it mean? You left in the dictionary. Yeah, it's a compound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, first there's an implied A, which has been dropped out because of the Sunday, because of the union of two short A's. So there's anyam, which means another, another person. Or more generally, we could say others. And then the verb is anusaseya, which means advise or instruct. Okay. 
So then, first one establishes oneself in what is proper. Then, one should advise others. Anukilesaya Pandito. That means the wise person is not defiled or afflicted. He is not, isn't it? Is, is not. Opposite. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, the sense would be the wise person would not be afflicted. That is, if one first settles oneself in what is good, <laughs> then instructs others, in that way the wise person won't be defiled or afflicted if he's too eager to start teaching others before he's well established himself then he might become corrupted any questions about this I have to say the verses are sometimes tricky and difficult some verses are simple others are a little tricky then let us go to the Further reading. Quarter to four. You want to go to the. No, not <laughs> all. <laughs> but you can listen to the uh, CD. Yeah, it's Yeah. <laughs> See, we all do that. Not just you. We all do the same thing. I don't think you could correct the reading of the two classes. Yeah, but I didn't do that. I was just conducting my poly class. <laughs> <laughs> Other people scheduled it. <laughs> you stick to our poly class, right? <laughs> <laughs> we even get kicked out, right? Yeah, we got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we come further reading. Who's going to do reading number one? No. <laughs> no, that means she's prepared well. I want to catch them. Yeah, exactly. Is it easy? Okay, let's hear a Okay. <laughs> Okay. Let me take the easy one. No, that, okay, you take the one you've prepared. Well, you want to do one? Try it. Try it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Mahavani. 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 Yeah. Kutagara Salayam. Right. Okay. Okay. Now. Let's say uh, one time. Yeah. The blessed one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a respectful. Yeah. Vasiliang, yeah. the place, resides yeah. at, at the Vasali. It's called Vaisali. Vaisali. It was a, a major city in northern India. Yeah. Um, in the park of Mahavana Pavilion. Yeah, Mahavana actually means the great woods, you can say. Yeah. It's it was the name Daling Jingshu. Daling Jingshu. It's the name of a place. They call it the Great Woods. But it's it's a specific place. She wasn't here at that time. 
Oh, maybe not here, yeah. So it's good that you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? So continue. No, let's not waste time with each other. Okay, go on. In the pavilion of the great wood. In the great wood, in an Kutagara Salaya. This is not pavilion? It's pavilion. Oh, I see, right. I see, okay, okay. We call it pavilion, yeah. But it's actually it's a compound, which means I see the the glossary gives a very compressed meaning. But it's kuta means peak, peak. Agara. P e a k. Agara means house. And sala means hall. So it's a hall with a peaked roof. Okay, so we'll just call it the pavil- okay, we call it pavilion. But just so you know how G- gabled house. A gable means I think it means that the roof slopes like this yeah. instead of flat. Okay, this is a kuta. Kuta yeah. and the kutagara. Yeah. So the two words, right? Yeah. They kuta. Yeah. Right? And the agara. Right. Peak house. Right? Yeah. The first A is short. Okay. Agara. Agara. Kuta plus agara. Okay, so you're doing all right. Continue. No, no, no. Continue. Atako siho. Yeah. Sena pati. Right. Yena bakaba. Yeah. Ten upasang kami. Right. Now. Or then, yeah. Then. Yeah. General silo. Yeah. Approach the black one. Yeah. Approaching and saluting the black one. Yeah. Don't you want to read it in Pali? Oh. So you get the right pronunciation. Upasa, upasam, kamitva. Yeah. Bhagavatam. Bhagavantam. Bhagavantam. Yeah. Abhivatitva. Yeah. Ekamantam. Nishidi. 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 Yeah. Approaching and saluting the black one. Yeah. But I think it's better when translating this form to put it, yes. it's called absolutive or gerund. So put it the way it's usually translated, having approached. Then having saluted the Blessed One. Okay. Having approached and having saluted the Blessed One, yeah. he's sitting on one side. Wait, Nisidi is what tense? Set. So what tense past is it? Tense. It's past. So in English we would say, he sat down, right? He sat down on one side. Ikamantam Nisino Ko Siho Sena Pati. Yeah. Bakavantam Eta Eta da Boka. Bocha. Okay. Okay. Set on one side. Yeah. Sit now. Nisino is a past participle, but it's used in the sense of a continuous action. So we would say it's almost used like a present participle, though it's a past participle. So we would say sitting on one side. The general see her. 
continue. Sitting on one side yeah. general physical. Yeah. And step to the last one. Right. Eta devotee. He said this to the blessed one. Said this to yeah, the blessed one. In Eta devotee, avocha means past participle to speak. He said this. And then Eta is this. This is what will follow. What, sitting on one side. Yeah. General Zero said this to the blessed one. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, Venerable, is it possible for the blessed one to point out yeah. the visible with result of giving? Right, yeah. Now, venerable, is it possible for the blessed one? For the blessed one, yeah. If you got it right, just repeat it for her. Oh. Yeah. Now, venerable, is it possible for the blessed one to point out yeah. the visible result of giving? Yeah. And notice this way of speaking, the polite way of speaking, instead of saying to the Buddha, is it possible for you to point out the visible fruits? He speaks as though he's talking to a third person. Is it possible for the Blessed One to point out? Instead of you. Yeah. This is a polite way. I don't know... Yeah, it's semi-Chinese. Chinese. You never easy. say you to a more respected person. Yeah. You always say the blessed one of the teacher. Yeah. That's why they use the uh, ba, right? Ba, kava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go on to the next. Feel me? Yeah. Baka. Yeah. Is it possible? Siha, the blessed one said. Right. Gayako Siha, Dana Pati, Bahuno, Jana Sapio, Koti. Right. Manapo. 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 Yeah. Uh, we use the giver, a giver. Yeah. Siho. S- it's not Siho here. Siha. 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 Yeah. It's liberal donor. Yeah. It's a liberal donor. No, he's not describing Siha. The word Siha here, this is vocative. So, in other words, he's simply speaking to see her. This is the way it's done in Pali. The vocative doesn't come at the beginning. It doesn't come as the first word, but it comes usually as the second or third word. So, he's saying, as in English we would say, O oh, see her, a dayaka. A dayaka is a giver, a generous person. Dana pati means literally a lord of giving. In other words, we would say a maybe a generous person. A giver, a generous person. The, the book is a liberal donor. 
So a giver, siha, is the labor of karma. No. 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 You see the two words, dayaka, dayako, and dhanapati, mm-hmm. they're just like two words here with the same meaning. Yeah. They're describing them with the same, two different words. Not, the think? sense is not that a dayaka is, sorry, not that a giver is a generous person, but the verb here is hoti, which comes near the end. So the sense is, a giver, that is, a generous person, is dear, it's pio, Oh, I would say dear, dear and manapo is like agreeable. So, giver, yeah. A giver, a, oh, let's put, okay, Osiha, a giver, a liberal person uh-huh. is dear and agreeable to many people. Bahuno Janasta. And agreeable to many people. Yeah. And then many, continue. Many people, Janasta, singular? It's singular, yeah. Because Jano is like a collective noun. Sometimes it used to mean a singular person, but here it has a sense of many people collectively. Yang Pi Siha Dayako Danapati Bahunung Janata Piyo Hoti Manapo. 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 Giver. Like, complete the whole sentence. Or just read the whole thing. Yeah. Idam pi sanditikam dana palam. Right. Okay, now translate. The giver. Uh, a generous. Oh, but first we have to take. Oh, yeah. You see this that young at the beginning. That. Again, yeah. see her. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the young at the beginning that indicates the fact that will follow. The fact that follows. And then Idang draws the conclusion from that. So young and Idang are joined together. In English we might say in so far as a giver, a liberal donor is dear and agreeable to many people. This is a visible fruit of giving. Yeah. And the P is used here. P usually means also. But you see, in English, when we have like a list of items, when we speak the first one, we don't say also. We only put the also for the second, third. When you go to the store, you should buy some milk, also buy fruits, also buy vegetables, also buy tofu. But yeah, but in Pali, when you have a list of items, you put the word P even for the first one. <laughs> so when you go to the store, also buy, <laughs> also buy milk, 
also by bread, also by fruits, also by vegetables. So you will be sick of bag. Yeah. And then this is also. Well, in English we wouldn't put also for the first one, but in Pali it's done. Okay, set, let's, for the next one, Suki, you want to do? Or have you caught up with this one? I have not caught up. You haven't caught up? Uh, can I, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 If you want, if you think you can do it, then try. Um, Pajanti. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, uh, he has uh, a giver, a liberal donor. Yeah. Uh, at that stage, I uh, when you look at this sentence, first you have to decide what is the subject. Take a look at the word dayaka. What case is it? Oh, dayaka. It's a uh, Right. And now what is uh, the okay. subject? Oh, sampo sakuita. Right. Uh, a good person. And sakuita is also a good person. Yeah. So, uh, but is it a good person? Oh, sakuita. Look at um, again. Look at the nominative ending. It's plural. The right. so good people. Yeah. Uh, good father. Uh, a good people associate with a donor and a liberal donor. Uh, liberal donor. Yeah. This is the with uh, the food of yeah. uh, the visible uh, food of giving. Dhanapala, Yeah, so yeah. Okay, who wants to try the next one? Before we go on, we have some those uh stars of separate stars. Yeah, yeah. So that means some is singular, right? Singular. No, no. No? Yes. This is a, a rather it looks like a peculiar word. It's actually originally Santo is the present possible <laughs> of the word to be, Ati. Right, yeah, yeah, I know that. But it takes on, you know, the way words and common uses take on a different meaning. It takes on the meaning of being good or saint. Even maybe the word saint is connected to it. Saintly. So it's plural, plural nominative. Originally a present participle, which has changed its function. It's not functioning as a present participle. It just means. Good people. Plural. Plural, so have yeah. Have we learned the detention? Mm-hmm. What would be the ending? This is a nominative plural ending. It, it's declined the same way as the present participles on page 70. On page 70. Okay. Okay, yes. yes. So right. you have santo, santang, sato, singular. Sata, mm. sati, maybe very occasionally you get it. plural, santo, that's plural nominative. Mm. Satang is actually a common genitive form. Satang. Mm. Santehi, even if one finds that. Santesu. Okay, so it's good or saintly. And the word sapurisa also comes from that same form.
that's somehow you get from this one of those very rare things and how we get the verb but be but you see the plural you see it in the plural of this is santi then the present participle santo meaning good then it's the same sat plus purisa purisa is person or sometimes more specifically male person and then in making this combination the T gets assimilated by the rule of Sunday it turns into a P so it becomes Sapurisa but in Sanskrit it would stay as a T so you get Sat Purusha in Sanskrit so the Sa in Sapurisa is really almost the same word as the Santo <laughs> so it's just saying the same thing in two different ways Chinese, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let us translate this. Okay, furthermore, see, uh, oh, we did the, okay, you, you did the first. Let's do the next one. Maybe Wenjin, you try? Puna Chaparang. Chaparang, keep it a little short. Puna Chaparang. Puna Chaparang. Yeah. 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 Yeah, a, a good, you say, a good kitty sado. Kitty has a sense of praise, and sado is sound. So when you join them together, sado yeah, but it takes on the meaning of reputation. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and abu gachati has it takes on the extended meaning of spreads about circulates it's abhi kachati is to go u the prefix has the sense of up and abhi you know it just gives a strength a certain strength but then what happens, okay, when the D joins with G, the D gets assimilated, so it turns into a G. Ugachati goes up. Then, then when the Abhi joins with U, the B turns into B H and the eye gets dropped. <laughs> yeah, so it becomes abu gachati. See, Sanskrit is very rigorous, so 
you wouldn't get these changes in Sanskrit. But Pali, because it's based on spoken languages, so it absorbs the changes that naturally happen in speech. So this verb of Ugachati takes on the meaning of spreads around. And it's usually connected with Kiti Sato, which is a reputation. So a good reputation spreads around about the donor who's a liberal, a liberal, the giver who's a liberal donor. Okay, continue. Yeah. Um, reputation spreads out, just spreads about around. Yeah. About liver, liver donors. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, the beautiful result of reading. Yeah. This too. This too. The this P is also this too. This too. Okay, try the next one. Puna Chapra. Sarado The self self confident the wise one? Uh, it means he, the giver, yes. approaches as a self at, with self confidence. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He approaches as one who is self confident. And a monk Bhutto? Yeah, yeah. It's one who is self confident and one without a mankabuto, without confusion or Imagine. sort of discontent. Not discontent, it's not so good. Humiliation? It's more like confusion or embarrassment. You know, when somebody who comes up up to speak and then he doesn't feel, he's not able to speak fluently, but he just mutters and stumbles. So, okay, so he approaches confident and 
without embarrassment, you can say. Yam Yadeva Parasam. Yeah. Upasam Kamasi. Yeah. Vita Rado. Upasam Kamasi. Yeah. Amanku Kuba Kubut. Amanku Bhutta. Amanku Bhutta. Right. Vidam Shi Sadikikam. Sandetikam. Sadikikam. And so Farsiya, as a giver, a liberal donor, approach it, what's with it, since whatever assembly a donor or liberal giver, a giver or liberal donor approaches, he approaches confidently, without embarrassment, this too is a visible fruit of giving. Then the last one. Yeah. Young could be taken. It's not literally sense, but you have to make some sense out of it. Anyway. So we would say sense insofar as, because. Young. Yeah. Yeah. Young. So far. Yeah. Yeah. So he says he approaches one is confidently without embarrassment. Well, the sense is okay. Whatever assembly that's young Yareva Parisan. Whatever assembly. Yeah. The dayaka, the giver, the generous person approaches. See, that much goes with the first Upasankamati. Then we have Upasankamati in the next phrase, the mm-hmm. Sarada Upasankamati. So that, now we are describing how he approaches it. He approaches it confident, without embarrassment. Okay, so, taking it all together. Since, oh, see her, since the giver, the liberal donor, I'm sorry, let's put it, oh, see her, since whatever assembly the giver, the liberal person approaches, he approaches it with confidence without embarrassment. This too is a visible fruit of giving. Then the last one in this series, maybe Chi Lao Shu. I'm sorry, I didn't prepare. You didn't prepare? Yeah. Okay. Um, Punachaparam. Puna Puna Chaparam. Puna Chaparam. Yeah. Dayako Dhanapati Kayasa Veda Param Marana Sugatin Lokan Upasam Sagan Sagatin Lokan Upapajati. I think you're reading from something you copied. Maybe I copied it incorrectly. I think so. Sorry. 
Actually, this is like a set phrase. After yeah. the breakup of, the, of his body, Narakaya Sambeda Paramarana. No, it's actually, you see, Kayasa and Veda, Kayasa Veda, that is one part. One part. With the breakup of the body. With the breakup of the body. It, that's an ablative, actually, Ru. But it has a sense of with, we would say, with the breakup of the body. Then the next paramarana. So after death. After death. Yeah. Um, Sukhatin is a happy fate. Yeah, or happy. Let's avoid fate. Otherwise, people will say Buddhism is fatalistic. Happy destination. A happy destination. Or a good destination. A good destination. Yeah. I'm missing this word, Sagan. Somebody has to Sagan help. is heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Okay. It's actually, in Sanskrit, Sparga. It means heaven. 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 So it, and it goes with the world, like heavenly world. Heavenly world. I guess I have to go to the verb first. Yeah, the verb should come first. To be reborn yeah. in a happy destination yeah. in heaven. Yeah. In the world? In the heavenly world. In the heavenly world. Yanti Siha Dayako Dhanapati Kaya Sabeda Paramarana Sugati Sakan Lokan Upapajati Idan Sam Parai Kan Dhanapalam Right. Uh, uh, that siha, uh, a generous donor, a, a donor, a generous person, um, with uh, through the breakup of the body yeah. and after death, yeah. he goes. He is reborn in a happy destination, yeah. a heavenly world. Yeah. Uh, he's on that is a directly visible from the student. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems they left out a little word also. It should be idampi. Idampi. Yeah, they left out the That word. too. Yeah. Is a directly visible from the student. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, this is a different word here. Oh, so the P doesn't come there. I see now. Right. Right. Even I missed the Okay, this is an, a different word. You see, the first one's a sanditikam. Sanditika means visible in this light. What's visible right here. Samparayikam, this has the meaning what relates to the future life. So we would say, this is a fruit of giving relating to the next world, or to the future life. The P is not there. Yeah, the P isn't there. Can I ask another question? Yeah. In the first passage, when we have uh, Vaisali Yang, yeah. I know Vaisali is the name of the place. Why do we have Yang? This is locative case. 
it's the feminine vocative. Oh. Let us, let's see where to look. For I am the, yeah. Page six. Yes. Page six. Okay. You see, for Nadi, page six. Right. Yeah. Nadi, yeah. Nadiyam. Yeah. Similarly, with Kutagara Salayam, mm. it's stem noun is sala, but to make it locative, sala young, in, in the whole. Any questions? Okay, then. We continue next week.